feels really weird because you're sitting here in all the comfort and you can think of all the thoughts, what if you summit, but up there, if you could switch like this, from this place to that in an instant, you would have another perspective. But because you can't, and if you're a novice, you would probably go up. But when you understand how that living hell up is up there, you don't make that call. You stay and you stay alive. Yeah, another avalanche. So we were in camp one at 5.7 and uh, as you probably can see we have some pretty strong winds uh, at the summit according to the forecast 125 km per hour. We got to 6.4 uh, close to camp two and uh, even though this was dry season we climbed literally blue ice Due to the forecast, due to the winds, it's not safe to climb. Of course you feel uh, some disappointment, but then again you shouldn't because this is nature, is it is what it is. It's your image of what has not been fulfilled, which is disappointing, and what it could have been. And you just have to lay that behind yourself. Meanwhile, some people might call us pussies. Um, yeah, they do that. But as soon as there's an accident, the same people would call us insane and crazy. And I call those people stupid people because they live in fear and they never take any risks. And that must be such a bad place to be mentally. Living life as if it was survival instead of living life as it should be alive. Early morning, six o'clock, uh, camp one, five, seven, having wonderful tea with uh, uh, sugar. That most of the time that stands in the way of making a decision to bail is the emotional connection to a goal because you have programmed yourself you've seen yourself succeeding and what fruit that will bear and when you know can when you can't taste that fruit and it's like you're a kid again and someone's stealing your teddy bear uh, you cry it's like a loss it's like losing someone and that emotional connection, when that's too strong to a goal, makes you weak. And that makes you think that oh, maybe it's going to work. It makes you want to see the facts as if there are just recommendations. And that is very, very dangerous. I think decision making is key to success. And uh, climbing 8,000 meters is all about decision making. You do one thing wrong and you pay the consequences immediately. And you can't have too much debt on your account because uh, you end up dead. I didn't come here to solve the question why I climb. I already know that. It's because I love what I'm doing. I love the freedom. I love, I love the beauty. I love the, I love the solitude. And, uh, Winter climb 
gives me that opportunity uh, to be in a place, pristine place, where there is no other voices. It's just us, our team. And uh, the link to success is our brotherhood and uh, trying to be strong together. Yeah, so this is it. Uh, finito, the end of uh, the beginning. <laughs> I'm not sure when I'm going to go back, but somehow I'll find a way. It's going to get a couple of 10,000 of grands first to finance the entire expedition. Yeehaw! <laughs> well, sayamara, have a good one.